and we're back. First debris cleared already. I think I'll just save for the GTS straight away. Because I want to get the I want to get the specialists training as officers as soon as possible. And then we go down to the debris, go down to the power coil, and maybe I can prove in ground just so that I can build the skull jack and skull mining. Then we can destroy the proving ground, build probably an infirmary or a training center, depending on how it's going. And then after we've got power going, we can rebuild the proving ground. Because after I've done the skull jack plus skull mining and hazmat suit and ablative armor, there's not that many projects that I feel I have to really rush. And the proving ground costs, what, 50 supplies? of my own research based upon this simple design. If only I had known. Ah, Commander, excellent timing. There's been some progress. I've managed to break down several key components of the chip implanted into your skull. My analysis reveals that its primary function was that of a conduit, passing a vast amount of data directly to your cerebral cortex. With the primary connection severed, much of that data is lost. Several fragments do remain, however. Uh, ghosts, if you will. Uh, ghosts, Observe. if you will. Tactical combat simulations. War games. The sheer volume of encounters you were processing was astounding. It... It is truly remarkable that you survived as long as you did. Though this may seem disconcerting, there is still some good news. This chip bears a striking resemblance to a medical implant I briefly assisted mm. in developing at the Gene Therapy Clinic in New Providence. My understanding was that the implants were intended for high-ranking Advent officers only, captains or above. Retrieving a chip from such an officer would be the only way to know for certain. A greater understanding of these implants would undoubtedly benefit us all, Commander. Dagen? So, just talking about the build order of the buildings, the amount of ability points we're going to be getting in Alpha Squad because of the fact that they're all above average might actually justify taking training ground above infirmary. Hmm. The Advent officers have clearly been modified to allow for their subordinates to receive new orders psionically. The implanted chip is the key. Hmm, sector autopsy, trooper corpse, yeah, experimental weapons. I'll see that work begins immediately, Commander. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. Indeed, Milky, just don't get hit. We'll make that decision when we get to it, because you, you, you can justify delaying the infirmary if you don't get hit too much, and if your uh, roster remains fairly robust. The one thing that the infirmary often doesn't get, well, people don't think about the infirmary, is that having the infirmary actually speeds up the leveling of your troops because they spend less time wounded. We're heading in to get a drop on the transport and free that captive. Expect hostile resistance. Secure the area and clear out anyone who stands in your way. Let's go, boys. Menace one five. We have a confirmed location for the VIP. Move to rendezvous. Eliminate all hostile contacts. Looks like we got quite lucky with the evac point. God, it's miles away. Position confirmed. Moving to position. When you guys play, do you get as nervous as I do when you give a move order and the game freezes for like a second? Because that's normally because it's loading the animation for the pod reveal. It's scary. Copy that. Copy that. Got it covered. I'm Scottish. Who <sighs> Shit, there's a drone and it's close. Roger 
Yeah, a stealth discipline is something I need to work on. I'm, I'm generally quite bad with stealth discipline. Got it. Moving. What are the chances of getting revealed from that side? Uh, not that much. That's uh, a risk I'm willing to take. Why'd you jump over that? What's the matter with you guys? Got it covered. The Cone of the Barbarian is actually in a pretty tricky spot because uh, I think there's a drone right here. We heard it. I think either knock doors open or break some glass, so. Whoa, wait, what? Okay, a movement bug. Well, we'll take it. Orders confirmed. On the move. You hear that? Still, I like this, going past the evac point to get the civilian. At least we'll know that this area should be clear because we're going to push past it. Hostile targets in sight. God, these drones are annoying. So, is that the drone vision? It is. Moving the designated coordinates. If I can get everybody up on the roof now in this turn, that's pretty big for us, but this is risky going up here now. So, what happens if I go up here and. Uh, rescue from Advent Vehicle, that's not right. I think we have a bugged mission. What? Okay. Here I come. Oh, kiss my ass. Strong grenade. Ugh. Yeah, so Logiza can run and gun and get a shot off if he really has to, but I truly hope he doesn't need to. Okay, I think uh, out in the open for Jack Lawson is fine here. I mean, some lads are flanked anyway, so. Check it before you get too close. Good shot. All right, I'll go. Scanning. Moving to Overwatch. Enemy patrol on the move. Shit, that's the rest of the map right there. Well, if we play our cards right, Conan can take care of the. We've got the VIP in tow. Move into evac. What is happening? The game is pretty fucked. <laughs> this game is so scuffed. What is happening? They're not going to kill the, the, the VIP, are they? What the fuck is happening? Let's do a quick save and reload and see what it does to the positioning. Well, we need to make a, uh, a fresh save anyway. I think what happened here was, and the reason I got revealed there, is that where it showed the trooper wasn't actually where it was. Which makes sense, because the trooper, the, 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 the VIP, was not in a vehicle. So I suspect that now when we reload, the, lo the location of the enemies will be a bit different. No? What the fuck? Who's overwatching? There's no way they killed the VIP. He's like, is it just gonna have to run this overwatch? Well, he's got the hit points for it, I suppose. 
But if I run here, I uh, guess if that pod actually hasn't aggroed yet. What the actual fuck is going on? Roger, Holden. Let's just see what happens here. We'll keep sneaking everybody else closer. And just see what happens when we get closer. Do any of these moves uh, reveal me? Tired of waiting around. All set. I'm confused. I'm very confused. Oh, worth it. Moving to Overwatch. I oh, see so if she moves now, it's gonna activate that pod. So she's just gonna stand still and hopefully she doesn't just get executed. What's over there? Overwatch. I think if they kill the VRP now, we are Maybe justified in restarting the mission just because I think all of this has started by being bugged because she's supposed to be next to a vehicle, but she spawned in a part of the map where there's no vehicle. Which I think also is part of the reason why the line of sight was so messed up. Yep. Well, fuck that. So this should be... Let's just see how far back this goes. I consider this to be within the honest man bounds because of how scuffed the map has started. I'm beginning to worry that there's some real issues with the game because in the previous mission we had, what, three out of eight shots, all grazers, and that's it's only supposed to be a 10% chance. And now we've had a really weird spawn. And line of sight seemingly Ending being now. broken. For the sake of fairness, I'm gonna, technically I'll do the same stuff. I just want to see whether, having reloaded now and restarted, are we going to be in the same situation? Strange. Very, very strange. Got it. Location confirmed. You hear that? And now the game has crashed properly. Okay. This is totally scuffed. It's, I think I need to validate install files and check stability and... <sighs> that definitely earns a failed trumpet. <laughs> Man, what a pity. I hope we don't have to restart the whole campaign. Um, I'm going to reinstall, verify integrity of game cache, play around a bit with a different save file to check stability. And the next XCOM stream will be Wednesday anyway, so hopefully by Wednesday it'll all be smooth and we can reload that same save file. Uh, my friends, welcome back. So for those of you watching on YouTube, um, I had a bit of a problem with the save file actually what you saw from the first bit of this video was that we have an issue with the VIP spawning out in the open and then this group getting aggro as soon as we see her. So I wanted to reload from before this mission. I had to do a test save to just test stability. But now the Twitch campaign save is before the previous mission and I don't want to redo that and there's no option to restart this mission. So unfortunately what I think we're going to have to do uh, even General Rogers, is just make the attack from this side of the building. Hopefully we can kill the pod that's in there without showing to this one and just get the VIP out. Uh, failing that, unfortunately, it looks like the VIP is just not going to make it out. But I mean, this is just what we have to face a lot of times with this uh, War of the Chosen being as buggy as it is. This sucks. So... Uh, unfortunately, there's still the FPS issue dropping down to like 35, 40, 32. What's annoying is that while I'm streaming with with OBS, it seems to be killing the, the frames. Because this morning before 
uh, I streamed and I was testing without OBS running, it was sitting smoothly at like 90 FPS and not dropping at all. So OBS seems to be tanking the FPS. I'm like WTF. I don't know what I'm going to do. Anyways, let's finish this mission and then I'll just try to think of some ways to get around these issues. I really don't want to start this campaign over. We had such an incredible start with respect to the troops that we have. Moving out. I got enemy movement here. Indeed, Russ. Yeah. When the camera moves, it drops right down. But honestly, I think that's actually a XCOM thing. It's always seemed to be that way. Even with other streamers like Christopher Odd and whatnot. When the camera moves, it really tanks the FPS, but again, uh, Long War of the Chosen issues. I'm all over it. And it's not like my machine is move. rubbish. I don't know what to do. Well, dude, Long War's been around for like three, four years now. Long War the Chosen. And it's still not, you know, ready yet. But technically, it's still a beta, and the development team is like two or three guys, so. Oh, yeah, balancing definitely needs work. Okay, let's go la loud now this turn, because the pod that was causing the issues is sitting over there. Okay, so Jack Lawson. Give us some overwatch, buddy. Good copy, moving on target. Overwatch. What I don't want to have to do is just record offline and not stream this. Because it seems to be the OBS streaming that's Good causing copy. all the issues. On target. Oh well. Yeah, I've got my eyes on. Action indeed action, yeah. Well. Um, it's up to you guys as the viewers to let me know whether it's unwatchable. This is going to be a hard mission. Not good. This is bad. Bad, bad, bad. We've got six active. The VIPs aren't in the open. Okay, so I think I need to slice and dice someone. These two drones being here is a real problem. I can't go there because then I'll be exposed. I think the play might be to hit the officer. The officer is actually the biggest threat right now. 3 to 5 They're damage, 70 accuracy. Can hollow target. Target we neutralized and we're moving to deliver. Uh, oof. I think I have to just flashbang those three. Hope the drones don't cause too many issues. What? His cover got destroyed by Overwatch. <sighs> Come on, XCOM. <sighs> I moved him into high cover and threw a grenade, and then these guys taking Overwatch shots destroyed his cover. Now he's out in the open and he's going to die. <sighs> Is this a reload? Oh, fuck, you can't make this shit up with this game. Affirmative. I don't have smoke. Need a light. We were on a razor's edge with getting the infiltration to 100%. Damn, Ow. Just hitting people out in the open. At least he seems to not be in vision, except with the drones, so that was a saving grace. I 
third drone. Oh god, the drones are killing me this playthrough. I'm doing some color something. So I'm sorry to say, Conan, you are just gonna have to tank a shot here. Actually, maybe not, because well, 29%. That's not gonna hit. There's no way that hits. Logezo has five hit points. What's his defense? One defense. Uh, five defense. Okay, so Conan is better to... He, he's gonna... Well, I've got only four hit points. Okay, hang on. So this is maybe not so bad. Uh, shotgun kills the sectoid. Flashe the lad at the back. Oh, another graze! The amount of grazes is doing my fucking head in. Shotgun to the deck. Like it. Uh, VRP, run away bravely. On the next turn, we can actually just evac. Uh, what's the grenade situation? Don't have any. Oh, these drones are going to ruin us. Martin, oh, thanks for the emote. I've only got four hit points here. Two drone shots could kill him. So this is three to five, minus two, so it's actually one to three, and I need four. So as long as that hits, this probably won't hit. I'm going to try to kill this one because the other one's damaged. So there's a fair chance. Oh, that hit. Oh, it hit. No, 92% miss. Dude. This campaign is cursed so far. Big miss. Big miss. Easy. I can't move. Oh. At least the drones are not super accurate. Right, uh, Mr. SMG rookie, can you please kill that trooper? Negative damage. <laughs> I'm ready. 92 miss, 72 miss, 72 miss. Happy now. Sure. I hope it's worth it. We are getting lucky, but I would just point out that a red fog is, in my opinion, a mandatory uh, thing to have on because they have 65 aim base, and it's, this is down to 49. These things don't have great aim either. So really, that's why I appreciate Red Fog so much. I think that Red Fog uh, rewards the you know hyper aggressive playstyle. If you say so. That's it. Ammo out. Is that actually? Yeah, that is Overwatch. But again, forty nine. Hmm. I'll take that chance.
it is stressful, but we've had a run of bad luck. It'll turn. Um, especially as Alpha Squad gets more leveled up. Alpha Squad, almost all of them have pretty amazing ability point gain. So as they get bigger and stronger, they are going to become so dangerous. I'm going. Hard target, minimal damage. That was he hit, but then rolled minimum. Oh yeah. Deflection. Ugh, the armor on these drones. All right, I'll go. Well, on the plus side, if we can evac with these drone corpses, that's two alloys each, and you need like five alloys to make predator armor. There you go. Running drive. Ruff. Evening, my most loyal sub. On the move. Not a problem. Hey lads, let's get out of here. I don't even want to fight the other two soldiers that are out here somewhere. Let's just all grab a corpse and GDFO. No one has died, which is a minor miracle. Well, yet. No one's died yet. Get up and get back out there! So there's another drone corpse there. I want to grab that one. I guess that will be okay. Just keep an Dude, eye on them. Give Long War the Chosen a try. It's frustrating, but you'll never be able to go back to normal long uh, to normal XCOM after you've played Long War. It's so good guess it's my when, when it works, and mm, it's just it's chef's kiss. On it. Got it. man i don't even want to open that pandora's box of um of cyberpunk i had a thought the other day that i'm like i'm ashamed to say i haven't finished the second uh, the expansion to the recent day six was it mankind divided or what's it called I, have, I'm, I need to play that i haven't i've never touched the witcher 3 i haven't finished god of war on ps4 and i kind of worry that if i go play cyberpunk I'm now gone. all those three incredible games will be less the, the experience will be lesser for it. So what I might just do is grind out those games uh, and give Cyberpunk time to iron out some of its kinks. Why can't they walk? <laughs> if you're uncomfortable, then that's on you. <laughs> just in time. Did you hear something? Well, I mean, yeah, of, yeah, kind of day six. I mean, from, from what I've clear. heard, and the skill up, skill up uh, is a YouTube channel. Australian guy does reviews. Just His review time. was great, and he opened it up by saying it's basically day six with like um, GTA Mission components. That sounds pretty cool to me. So, how do we pick an MVP out of that mission? I think it would have to be the Shinobi. It's Conan the Barbarian. Ran Overwatch, killed the Sectoid. No, no, killed the Officer. Ran Overwatch twice. Conan, Blade Master, Logizo, Lightning Reflexes. A quick note for those of you who are playing with Commander's Choice. If you promote rookies from this screen, you don't get to use Commander's Choice. Well, we did it. That's three engineers by March 11th. <laughs> I've never had that many engineers that quickly. So we've had a bit of bad luck in the micro level on the actual missions, but on the macro level with the combat intelligences, with the XCOM skills and the missions that have run and popped up, 
We've had a lot of good luck. It's been wonderful. Star Wars conversion? Uh, no, I suppose I should actually. I think I can bond these two because they're all in the same uh, squad. Okay, so Blackwing Dragonov is a technical. Uh, Conan the Barbarian and Blackwing, nice. This is actually so much easier uh, having set squads like this. Because previously I wouldn't have set squads, I would just have like, you know, the highest level of whoever's available and then run them as a squad. But then bonding people could be quite hard. Um, and now, at least, as long as you have a squad together, it doesn't matter which class bonds. Noble one, they will never see us come. So, Jolly Roger, is that for XCOM 2 or for Enemy Within? Because maybe we can do a, 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 long, a long war of the chosen Star Wars. Uh, Gasby is sharpshooter. XCOM 2, all workshop. So it's not compatible with long war, though. Look at this. Steady hands, shadow strike. Like, with this guy, he's going to be able to chain shot with shadow strike and steady hands to open up with an engagement. He's going to be able to pretty much one bang anything to start an engagement. It's going to be fucking amazing. And then technically later, you could go traverse fire and then chain shot. I think actually this is a... We're going to take Alpha Mike Foxtrot with this guy. Like normally you take serial or double tap, but because we have traverse fire and chain shot available, I think this is an Alpha Mike Foxtrot. He's going to have center mass and AMF as well. So he's going to have plus four, plus that's five, plus five. Oh! Gasby is going to be being lethal this playthrough. I can't wait to see him in action. Jekt is a specialist. Precision shot, that's okay on a specialist. Resilience I like. Boosted cores and heat warheads is not really what I want in a specialist. Gain damage on crits, that's kind of crap. Iron curtain is okay. Rapid fire, that's actually okay as well. Uh, not yet, duck yours. No deaths yet. Touch wood. Oh, look at this. First of all, who's that? And he, he seems to be levitating the ales here. Fascinating. So low income, low intel. But I good stats for a ranger. So, like, I mean, a little bit depends on uh, what the other guys have. But, okay, let me put it this way. So your average stat line for a, for any soldier is 4 hit points, 12 movement, and 65 aim. So like here, yeah, Marsha has 70 aim, so anything above 65, anything between 65 and 70 uh, aim, and mobility doesn't matter too much, and you want more than 4 hit points. If the trooper has less than 4 hit points and less than 65, then they're not good for a ranger above 70 then typically because of the way the stat distribution works if a trooper let's fight yeah like look at uh le gluk gent uh, lay gent gluk 72 aim the extra two points in aim means he has slightly less hit points so he could actually be a good ranger as well and then guys who have very little like like gas b i made him a sharpshooter because he had very high aim but very low hit points uh that's for like a typical a, a typical um ranger who's going to be using rifles so if you take someone who has huge like 17 movement and decent hit points but not great aim you can still make them a ranger you just make them a shotgun specialist it's not as great as a normal ranger but it can be pretty damn good because at launch at launch corporal or corporal you take um extra shotgun shots so he can use four of his shotgun hits it can be really good
and then later on you give that guy like uh, spider armor so he can grapple to get close blue move to get bl uh, to point blank range an enemy and give them both barrels can be pretty good okay so where are we we are on March 11th resistance ring 25 hours debris 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 that's going to bring us a lot of money that's wonderful okay alloys is great i was hoping for um, intel though we want to get the other 80 intel as soon as we can strategic resource located setting course for the mexican regional tract So we started with the Templars, so I think we might take Hidden Reserves, but I don't believe that we would actually need Hidden Reserves in this first month. By surprise if we switch up our tactics. Maybe we should try something new. Let's go straight for the intel. So this one gives plus dodge. Let's see if Conan and, no, Turtle Fritz and Booze are available. Because then I can get them some levels. Uh, where's Criddle Fritz? So Criddle Fritz is going to be a shinobi, so the extra bit of dodge will help him. And Tony Booze Martin. My followers will lead this action to victory. I think we can actually justify pulling one engineer out into the resistance ring. So instead of 17 days, it'll be what, like 12 days? 11 days. That's six days. That's so worth it. Intel gathering, strength one, vigilance three. So once this hits strength three, we'll move out of New Mexico. So from strength strength level one and two, the baseline enemy activity is seven to nine. Once it's three, four, and five, it's uh, ten to twelve. Then six, seven, eight, it becomes thirteen to fifteen. Free captured rebels. I'm kind of like, mm, yeah. So it's 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 two rookies and one resistance personnel. Two recruits and one resistance personnel. Yeah, we can send out Delta Squad, Bravo Squad. I mean. So we've got Gent, who's the gunner. Gazby, who's the sharpshooter. Who's the specialist here? Jekt, he's wounded though. Leet is a grenadier, so he can sit out. Right, Shinobi. Uh, please tell me there's a laser sight, just a suppressor, okay. So Gazby the sharpshooter. Do we have money for AP rounds? We sure do. The faulting mobility is really, really nice. Medikit. Eh. Honestly, he can carry smoke. He still has 13 mobility on top of that. We've got two flashes and two um, medkits there. That's fine. So, honestly, both rookies could just go SMGs and grenades, but they've got nice aim, so... He is French. Why don't we take a French camo? Uh, French Centre Europe. Cool.
Uh, alien, yeah, fine. Keep it alien. Those of you who watched the last season will remember what a hero Marsha was in the last season. I think she was a gunner or something, or a sniper. I remember her being lethal. Pretty cool, a pretty girl, but she will straight up kill your ass. Uh, what are we doing? We rescuing resistance contacts, infiltration mission, fixed evac. I think we'll just give them one frag grenade and ceramic plating so they and then assault rifles yeah that's fine so they have the frag in case we need guaranteed damage but like 72 accuracy is not bad not bad so five days 21 there's no way we can get a sixth person in elite no it's too much any of you guys are ready to bond yet uh, not quite okay operation potent giant bravo squad conan the finn troops gents and the brawn good luck sky ranger deep in position for deployment Jack Lawson is back. Oh man, actually, if I'd known, I would have waited because I wanted to send the specialist along. But okay, YouTube folks, let's see. So this is 28 minutes plus 13 from the other piece, so 35. Let's stop here for this episode, and when we come back, just keep pushing. It's still early on. I can't believe we have three engineers. It's unreal. Maybe let's just pop to the black market Avenger, and see what we can get course. for 31 supplies. Are there any um, is open. debris getting cleared before end of the month? Three days. Because black market costs, I think, inflate every market month. Is open. Uh, a ranger squaddy mm, auto-loaded. The data pads are well worth. Sectoid corpse? Oh, hell yes. Oh, hell yes. Man, I just, I, I gotta, I don't know, man. Like, something feels wrong. It's all, it's all going too well. We're getting so lucky. First of all, America start. Our troops are gods, walk, gods walking on Earth in terms of their stats and their XCOM. XCOM abilities that they were given that we can maybe unlock. We've got three engineers within the, within the first two weeks. And now I've managed to get an, a scientist as well, and we just bought a data pad. Oof. Oof, 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 oof. Right. Things going this well, that means bad shit is on the horizon. Course for Mexico. Right, YouTube folks, take a little break. When we come back, keep pushing.